A new study is sparking some concern over chemicals in foods at supermarkets and fast food restaurants. Researchers at Consumer Reports found that two chemicals linked to various health risks are widespread among some pretty popular items. CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe joins us in studio tonight with what you need to know. Rocio? Yeah, well, the research found that nearly all of the food tested in the study contained chemicals that have been found to be hazardous to health, and shopping for organic food isn't a surefire way to avoid these chemicals. I would say I'm not shocked that we're finding these. It's getting harder to avoid harmful chemicals in the food we buy and eat. A new study from Consumer Reports found that the majority of food we buy contains thylates and bisphenols, two chemicals linked to diseases like diabetes and hormone disruption. I think that we are finding that these are more common than um, than maybe we thought in the past. Rachel Rothman is a registered dietitian who's worked in the food industry for years. She says what's even more frustrating is that the chemicals are also found in organic and healthier food products. I wish there was like an easy solution of, well, just don't buy this or just stay away from this. And unfortunately, that's not where we are right now. Researchers found that 99% of grocery store foods and fast foods they tested contain phthalates. Additionally, 79% of the food samples also contain bisphenol, an industrial chemical that's used in plastic manufacturing. They're basically um, part of this group of chemicals that they're really used to make plastic more flexible and more durable. Prepackaged foods were found to have much higher chemical levels. Boxed cheesy ravioli, sliced peaches, McDonald's Quarter Pounder, Little Caesars Pizza, and other fast food items were among the foods tested by Consumer Reports. The National Research Council has linked thylates to reproductive disorders and genital abnormalities. According to Mayo Clinic, BPA has been linked to high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, diabetes and cardiovascular disease. In 2023, the FDA rejected a petition that called for a ban on the use of phthalates in food packaging and food processing. If the FDA could step up and create these regulations, I think that could make a huge difference. Now, despite the findings of the study, Rothman says people don't necessarily need to panic. She says the more studies that come out is actually a good thing. It means we're becoming more aware of these issues and can also look at ways to prevent it. Rocio, uh, some concerning chemicals. Do we know exactly what the current thresholds are for some of these chemicals and what levels are considered safe in food? Yeah, well, researchers say it's kind of hard to say exactly what levels of phthalates are considered safe in any product, but experts do say with certainty that it's clear they can cause harm even at low levels. Well, as you said, and as Dr. Rothman there said, or the dietitian, she said, you know, at least we're figuring out about them, finding out, right. and maybe, you know, action can be taken to do something if they are harmful. Exactly.